After all, human beings are extremely good at killing each other. Genocides have been going on for hundreds of years. All our countries have committed them. We have been receiving, for many months now, continued reports of massive breaches of international humanitarian law and human rights in Bosnia. These include reports of mass killings, torture, rape, and the unacceptable practices that are referred to by the equally unacceptable expression, ethnic cleansing. The lesson that we are all accountable to international law may have finally taken hold in our collective memory. This will be no victor's tribunal. The only victor that will prevail in this endeavor is the truth. I've never been an optimist about this part of the world, but this is a historic step forward today. The war crimes issue was not forgotten in Dayton. On the contrary, never before in a negotiation has an issue like that had such a prominent place. Today we are the only international tribunal with no fugitives at large. Starting from nothing and building up a working, viable prosecutor's office, uh, issuing the first indictment against Karadzic and Maladic. Milosevic was trialed, but he was left to die and nothing happened. He's innocent. Tujman and Izet Begovic died without being indicted. Prosecutors gave public statements. I just prepared the indictment, but he died. It's, it is something which I cannot accept. My instinct is that 50 or 100 years from now, when scholars or researchers or, or lawyers are looking back at, at the work that was done at the ICTY, I think some of the most important work that was done was the work that we did in sending cases back to the region. We helped promote and develop institutions which hopefully over the long term will serve to, to protect the fundamental rights of the citizens of the former Yugoslavia.